Welcome. Army Recognition is here in Mishref, Kuwait, to cover GDA 2017, the Gulf Defense and Aerospace Exhibition and Conference. This year, more than 100 companies from 20 countries will showcase their latest innovation and products. This is the Riot uh, vehicle. We have uh, this is a new in our service. Turkey is made. Its name uh, it's called the Al Barkia armored vehicle. You can see here the Korean uh, vehicle. Uh, it's also used for the riot control with water cannons around uh, 9,000 9, liters of water. This is uh, you can see here the. Renault's uh, truck, it's a new in the uh, National Guard service, it's called Asur, it used, this type is used for the NBC uh, units. The RWS type for the Panhard, it's a uh, France type, it's made from France, uh, we call it here in National Guard the uh, al -Quds. It's uh, controlled with the joystick from inside the vehicle and you can use 50 cal as a uh, as a, as a weapon. This is the main uh, vehicle we have in National Guard with 90, 90 mm cannon and 25 mm cannon. It's made uh, or it's been built inside Austria. This is the new version and the uh, 90 mm is the, the old one. In 2016, this one uh, joined our inside the service, inside National Guard service. This one called Al Sur. It's the same company built that the NBC it can carry uh, nine soldiers we use it mainly for the convoy protection so this is the Humvee USA made it's carry four soldiers with 50 cal it seems inside the service 2007 we have two types of uh, explosive disarms we use them since uh, 2012 it's been inside the service this is the suit for the protection for the guy who gonna disarm the explosive. This is for the manual disarm, not the uh, robotic. This is for uh, this device for uh, cutting the signals. So he can just, if you have uh, remote control or by using mobile uh, explosions, you can di disconnect the signal. So uh, the guy who disarms this bomb, he will be in safe. We are uh, from uh, anti-roid uh, special forces from Kuwait military. And this car, uh, it's a uh, Estrella car. Uh, it was uh, a defense uh, from gas, from the anti-roid uh, uh, people or something. It's like, uh, you know, uh, doing something broken and uh, anyways in the, in the, in the, in the, in the street. Yes. That's it uh, from uh, the gas uh, bomb. Okay, we have a 36 gas uh, bomb, and we have a came out with us uh, from uh, following uh, anybody, uh, and uh, we can uh, do it the the meters, and uh, we can uh, make the treatment and uh, go out with the gas. Yes, it's uh, six people uh, behind and uh, one driver and one in, uh, in the in the board. Yes, yes, in the computers. Yes, the cars are Austrian and. Uh, gun is from uh, Norway. This is gun from gas. It's a 400 millimeters and uh, it's a Switzerland gas. And this one uh, from also uh, shooting 
uh, gun, uh, gas, shot in gas. It's uh, from uh, Italy, from Italy, this one. And this one, it's a paper pole, you know, paper pole? Yeah. From shooting paper pole or uh, something to make it uh, right from uh, here. Yes, and this one uh, made in USA. Okay. We are very glad to be here as Neural Machina in Kuwait. It's a privilege for us to host Kuwaiti Armed Forces members, including high-ranking officials. We brought two vehicles here this time. Uh, one is our armored combat vehicle called Ejder Yalçın. Uh, as you know, Ejder Yalçın is becoming a legacy product in his 4x4 tactical armored vehicle segment. This is a real combat-proven vehicle in service since 2014. Uh, so far we have delivered almost 500 vehicles and we have almost 500 firm orders in place. This vehicle has been tested in six different countries in three continents so far and in those tests we have all the time got the highest scores as a result of which only in 2017 we signed uh, five export contracts. Hopefully in 2018 we will have some European contracts for Ejder Yalçın as well. The second vehicle that we represent here is, exhibit here is our water cannon vehicle called Ejder Toma. Ejder Toma has the same family of military rugged chases like Ejder Yalçın. Thanks to its uh, 300 horsepower engine, 4x4 suspension system, fully automated uh, transmission system, it shows very high mobility, not only in urban areas, but also rural areas. The vehicle has run flat tires, central tire inflation system. The vehicle has 5,000 liters water storage capability. We have separate containers for gas, foam and dye, each with 80 liters uh, capability. The operator is able to use plain water, a mixture of those uh, gas, dye or foam during the operation. Uh, the cabin offers ballistic uh, protection up to BR-6 level. It is also combat proven. It saved lives of many security forces in conflict areas, just like Ejder Yalçın. This specific vehicle is from Kuwaiti Ministry of Interior Special Forces. Uh, as you know, uh, Kuwaiti Special Forces has world-class capabilities in terms of manpower and infrastructure, and we are very proud to be chosen by them. We have a local service here, very good service, supporting uh, Kuwaiti Special Forces, keeping our vehicles operational, 724. And we are looking forward to get more contracts for our Kuwaiti customers and users here. The vehicle, you know, uh, the Sherpa Scout, you know, is a high mobility vehicle which can be armored uh, up to level 3, protected against mines uh, 3A to B. This vehicle uh, has a very, very high mobility, high useful payload and can be equipped with uh, different uh, weapons from uh, 762, 12.7 and uh, 25mm as well as uh, turrets, you know, for anti-tank missiles. Uh, this vehicle has been uh, sold to Kuwait National Guard, you know. Of course, the number ca cannot uh, be disclosed. And we are uh, finalizing uh, a contract with the Ministry of Defense for the delivery of uh, different types of the family of Sherpa. This one, uh, is, this one behind me is the Sherpa Scout. We have a Sherpa carrier, we have a Sherpa station wagon uh, to be used to different missions, you know. And uh, as you can see here, we have uh, our protector remote weapon station with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Uh, the Protector Remote Weapon Station is the most sold remote weapon station in the world. We are currently in 18 countries and the world leading provider of uh, these type of uh, weapon systems with more than 18,000 produced.
Yeah, the uh, Protector Remote Weapon Station is in use uh, in, uh, in Kuwait by the Kuwait Armed Forces and uh, the different ministries, uh, Ministry of Interior. During the, during the, the show, we are, we are focusing on the promotion of the 2R2M which is the integrated um, mortar uh, of 120mm uh, caliber. The, caliber. The, the particularity of uh, our mortar is that it distinguishes itself by his rifle design. The rifle design is quite simple, huh? I can show you uh, here, it's simply a rifle design, but this design allows to be the only, uh, the only manufacturer to offer such a performance, which means uh, the rifle design offers three main advantages compared to any other kind of uh, conventional 120mm mortar. Uh, first advantage of the rifle technology is that you have a longer range. You go up to 8 km and we also have a specific ammunition enabling to go up to 13 km. Second advantage would be the precision. As far as it's not uh, fin located, but it's just spin uh, going through the wind, it's like a ball of rugby, you know? When you launch it, the ballistic is much more precise. Uh, so you, you, you earn in terms of uh, precision. To give you an example, with a conventional smooth bore uh, ammunition, uh, if you shoot, uh, let's say, 10, 10 shots, one after the other, you will have uh, all of them, all of the 10 shots within, uh, within the size of a football stadium. The same 10 shots with a rifled ammunition, the 10 shots will fall in a, the size of a tennis ground. So this is to compare the, in terms of precision. So we said the precision, we said the range, and in terms of lethality, the, the 120 mil rifled ammunition is comparable to 155. Uh, ammunition because it's made uh, it has the exact same design and it's also in it, with also the same material so it has the lethality uh, comparable to a 155 instead of a 120 uh, conventional it carries by the way uh, um, almost twice as much explosive as a conventional 120 mil smoothbore ammunition